Born in France around 1600, Claude Lorraine was a noted landscape painter who spent most of his life producing work in Italy. Geometric perspective was invented in Italy about 200 years prior and still had a profound influence on artists working in Italy during Lorraine's time. Much of Lorraine's work utilizes one-point perspective and has the light source relatively close to the vanishing point. This allows for a strong central focus in his works. Many of Lorraine's works are invented, which means the landscapes don't exist in reality. Lorraine pulled together images from separate locations, as well as his imagination. By positioning the light source and the vanishing point within the image, Lorraine unites all elements that might otherwise appear to be disconnected. Additionally, Lorraine often exaggerates contrast in portions of his works to create a sense of rhythm that allows the viewer to easily navigate this image. Lorraine also utilizes and exaggerates atmospheric perspective. The elements in the background often appear lighter in value and have a low contrast with the surrounding elements. Foreground elements typically appear darker in value and have a higher contrast. Lorraine produces his drawings by working with tonal washes of indie ink. After building the sense of atmosphere, he adds more linear brush marks to create detail and define items. Lastly, like many artists working in Italy during the 17th century, Lorraine adds highlights with white paint. For this exercise, you are going to utilize Claude Lorraine's approach by inventing an outside scene with washes of India ink. Day 1. With pencil, gather images from at least four different locations. These can be entire scenes or individual items. Try to capture the form, volume, and the light source with these drawings. You should be able to capture a range of values with each drawing. Day 2. Your final drawing will be on a thicker piece of paper and be at least 9 by 12 inches. Think about the mechanics of linear perspective. You may use one or two point perspective, but make sure one of the points is contained within the image. This helps unify all of the elements. With a very, very light pencil, establish the horizon line and the general location of the vanishing points. Also, your light source should be contained within the image. This will also help unite all of these elements you captured separately. Start with the lightest washes of any ink and start to build the entire image at the same time. When you start to work on darker washes of ink, try to keep elements in the background. When you start to work on darker washes of ink, try to keep elements in the background low in contrasting values. Day 3. Once all of your midtones are established, you should be able to focus on the linear details, especially on the elements in the foreground. Your goal is to emphasize the tonal washes of ink, not to compete with them. Finally, you should be able to pull out some of the highlights with some touches of white paint. I'm using white acrylic paint diluted with water. Because all of the elements have a consistent light source and vanishing point, your finished product should have a well-established sense of unity and rhythm. Many artists use similar approaches in creating a composite image. Vincent van Gogh's Star at Night was comprised of three sketches from separate locations. Claude Lorraine's specific approaches also had a direct impact on future generations of artists. J.M.W. Turner, one of history's greatest painters, was a great fan of Lorraine's work. When Turner died, he left his paintings to the National Gallery of England on the condition that two of his works will forever remain side by side with two works from Lorraine. For this approach, you should be handing in at least four observational drawings. Each drawing should contain a range of value and have an established light source. Your final drawing should utilize one or two point perspective. The light source should be contained within the image. Should be on a sheet of paper at least 9 by 12 inches. Should contain the elements from your observational drawings. Invented items from your imagination are optional. Should contain a full range of indie ink washes. Highlighted items should use washes of white paint. Elements in the background should be lower in contrast. Elements in the foreground should be higher in contrast. 
A sense of rhythm should be established to allow the viewer's eyes to flow around the image. 